Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Alexander and I am AI engineer at Logic Boost. Today we'll be exploring how to move beyond sequential agent architectures to build truly hierarchical or lab-based systems. In the next 30 minutes I will show you practical implementation patterns for orchestrating multiple specialized agents to decompose and solve complex tasks effectively and reliably. Let's get started. Most agent implementation today follow sequential patterns, either single agents or linear chains. While powerful for many tasks, they struggle with complex problems requiring multiple specializations and sophisticated coordination. Sequential agents attempt to be generalist, but in complex domains they often hit reasoning limits, context wind of constraints, and struggle with task parallelization. Today we'll show you how hierarchical agent architectures can overcome these limitations through manager worker patterns that enable sophisticated task decomposition and coordination across specialized agents. Here is our roadmap. First, we'll examine the limitations of sequential approaches. Then we'll explore hierarchical agent architecture and its key components. Next, I will share implementation patterns with practical code examples. Then we'll discuss coordination techniques and context management strategies. And finally, we'll review a real-world case study showing these patterns in action. By the end, you will have practical techniques to implement effective hierarchical agent systems in your own projects. While we are focusing on hierarchical architectures today, it's worth acknowledging that several other agent orchestration patterns exist, which has distinct advantages for specific use cases. Centralized controller patterns provide simplicity and clear accountability, but can create bottlenecks with a single point of failure. Decentralized swarm approaches offer resilience and emergent behavior, but can struggle with coordination and consistent output quality. Pipeline architectures excel in standardized workflows with clear stage gates, but lack flexibility for complex decomposition. And role-based teams with fixed responsibilities work well for collaborative tasks like content creation, but with less dynamic specialization. The hierarchical approach we are focusing on today combines strengths for several patterns to excel spe specifically in complex task decomposition, requiring both coordination and specialization. Now let's dive deeper into how it works. Before diving into hierarchical patterns, let's understand why sequential approaches struggle with complex tasks. Sequential agents typically operate in a linear chain of thought pattern. Each step builds on previous steps with all context and reasoning contained within a single agent or passed sequentially between agents. This architecture faces life critical limitations. First, context wind of saturation occurs as complex tasks quickly exhaust token limits, forcing difficult trade-offs between foreignness and completeness. Second, Limited specialization means agent might be generalist, making them less effective at specialized subtasks that might require domain-specific knowledge. Third, poor scalability emerges as performance degrades linearly or worse with increasing task complexity. Fourth, sequential chains create single points of failure. If any agents in a chain fails, the entire process breaks down. Finally, Sequential approaches can efficiently parallelize naturally separably subtasks, leading to poor resource utilization. In our benchmarks, we found that sequential approaches see performance degradation from 40 to 60 percent when task complexity doubles, making them unsuitable for sophisticated real-world applications. Hierarchical agent architecture addresses these limitations through a multi-tier approach inspired by human organizational structures. At the top, manager agents handle high-level planning, task decomposition, and coordination. These managers break complex problems into manageable subtasks and assign them to appropriate specialized agents. In the middle tier, specialized worker agents focus on domain-specific tasks they are optimized to handle. By focusing on narrower domains, these workers achieve higher accuracy and require less context. At the bottom tier, two using agents interface with external systems, APIs, databases, and other resources to gather information or execute specific actions. This architecture implements the four K principles. 
Task decomposition enables breaking complex problems into manageable parts. Role specialization allows agents to focus uh, on what they do best. Coordinational protocols facilitate structured communication between teams. In context management ensures efficient information sharing without overwhelming token limits. The beauty of this approach is its compatibility with existing frameworks like LangChain, QEI, or Oftogen, allowing you to implement these patterns with tools you are already using. Let's take a deeper look at manager agents, the orchestrators that make hierarchical system work. Manager agents have five key responsibilities. Task analysis, where they understand requirements and constraints. Strategic decomposition, breaking complex tasks into coherent, manageable subtasks. Worker assignment, matching subtasks to agents with appropriate specialization. Coordination, managing dependency and information flow between workers. And integration, combining worker outputs to coherent final results. Creating effective manager agents requires careful prompt engineering. Here, a simplified implementation in Python using lang chain. The key insight here is that the manager doesn't try to solve the problem directly. Instead, it focuses exclusively on the composition and coordination, leveraging specialized workers for actual execution. Specialized worker agents are the domain experts in our hierarchical architecture. Manager agents focus on coordination, workers focus on execution in their specific domains. Common specializations include research agents that retrieve and synthesize information, content generation agents that produce high quality text, code agents that write, debug, or analyze code, data analysis agents that work with structured data, planning agents that excel in sequential reasoning, and verification agents that check outputs for quality and accuracy. Specialized workers consistently outperform generalist approaches, showing from 70 to 90% higher accuracy in their domain of expertise. Here's how we implement specialized workers. The key is providing each worker with a narrow specialized system prompt that focuses in capabilities on a specific domain. This creates clear boundaries of responsibility and enables deeper expertise within those boundaries. Effective interagent communications is a clue that holds hierarchical systems together. Unlike sequential chains where information flows linearly, hierarchical systems require more sophisticated communication patterns. We've identified five critical message types that must be carefully structured. Task assignment flowing from manager to workers, status updates flowing from workers to managers, dependency requests between workers, verification requests sent to quality control agents, and integration summaries that compile final outputs. The key principles for effective interagent communications include explicit schemas for all message types, standardized metadata for tracking, bounded context sharing to avoid token waste and clear dependency declarations. In our testing, structured communication protocols reduce error rates by 60-70% compared to unstructured approaches. Context management is perhaps the most technically challenging aspect of hierarchical agent systems. Without careful management, context windows quickly overflow, leading to costly inefficiencies or complete system failure. We face three critical challenges. Context flooding, where agents receive too much relevant information. Context starvation, where agents lack critical information needed for their tasks. And, con and context fragmentation, where related information is scattered across agents, preventing coherent reasoning. Our solution implements four key strategies. Hierarchical summarization compresses information at each level with detailed context and worker level and summarized insight at manager level. Need to know context sharing ensures agents receive only information relevant for their specific subtask. Vector storage integration externalizes reference information that can be selectively retrieved when needed rather than keeping it in context. And shared memory architecture provides a centralized yet selective context repository accessible to all agents in the hierarchy. Here is simplified implementation. This approach reduces token usage by 40 to 60% while maintaining accuracy. 
making complex hierarchical architecture economically viable for real-world applications. Hierarchical systems introduce new types of potential failures that must be handled gracefully. The good news is they also provide more sophisticated recovery options than sequential approaches. We've identified four common failure categories in hierarchical systems. Execution failures occur when a worker agent can complete its assigned task. Coordination failures happen when dependencies are improperly managed between workers. Semantic misalignment occurs when a structure is misinterpreted as they pass between layers. And resource exhaustion happens when context windows or API rate limits are exceeded during complex operations. For each failure type, we implement specific recovery strategies. The key is implementing an intelligent retry system that doesn't just repeat the same approach, but adapt based on the specific failure mode encountered. In our production systems, this approach successfully recovers from 83% of failures without human intervention, dramatically improving reliability in complex scenarios. Let's look at a concrete implementation example, a hierarchical agent system for project management. The system is designed to take high-level project requirements and generate comprehensive project plans with detailed task breakdowns, resource allocation, timelines, and documentation. At the top level, the project manager agent handles overall planning and coordination. It decomposes projects into major work stream and delegates to specialized agents. The research specialist gathers marketing and competitor information. The task breakdown agent creates detailed tasks and subtasks. The resource allocation agent optimizes team assignments. The timeline agent manages scheduling and dependencies. And the documentation agent creates comprehensive project documentation. Here's how a typical interaction flows. The system takes a high-level objective. Create a marketing campaign for our new product launch in Q3. The project manager breaks this into measure of work stream, market research, creative development, media planning, content production, and launch coordination. Each work stream is assigned to appropriate specialized agents who further decompose and develop their components. The results flow back up to be integrated by the project manager. This implementation achieves impressive results. 30% reduction in planning time, 65% more detailed task breakdowns, 82% reduction in dependency conflicts, and 96% stakeholder satisfaction with the generate documentation. Implementing hierarchical agent systems is not without challenges. Here are the five most significant we've encountered and how we address them. Prompt engineering complexity increases significantly with multiple spe specialized agents. The solution is creating standardized prompt templates for each hierarchy level and agent specialization. Dependency management becomes critical as subtasks often depend on outputs from other subtasks. We address this with explicit dependency declaration protocols and a centralized dependency resolver. Error propagation risk increases in hierarchical systems as failures can cascade through dependent components. Our approach implements comprehensive validation at each stage and intelligent retry mechanisms. Coherent maintenance across agents requires careful attention to maintain consistent understanding. We solve this with standardized output formats and periodic alignment checks. Cost management becomes complex with multiple agents consuming tokens. Our approach optimizes token usage through selective constant sharing and tiered model selection based on task complexity. While these challenges increase initial implementation complexity, the investment pays off through significantly improves capability to handle complex tasks and long-term reliability gains. The benefits of hierarchical architecture become increasingly apparent as task complexity grows. For a simple task with one to three subtasks, sequential approaches are more efficient. However, sequential performance degrades rapidly at eight to 10 subtasks while hierarchical systems scale efficiency to 50 plus subtasks. Error rates tell a similar story. Sequential approaches show error rates of 28 to 35% on complex tasks, 
while hierarchical system maintain error rates of just 7 to 12% on the same tasks. Completion time for complex tasks is 40 to 60% faster with hierarchical approaches due to efficient task decomposition and parallel execution capabilities. Utilization is initially higher for hierarchical system due to coordination overhead, but becomes 15 to 25% more efficient for complex tasks for specialized context sharing. This translates to cost efficiency that scales with complexity. While hierarchical systems are more expensive for simple tasks, they become 30 to 40% less expensive for complex tasks. The break-even point typically occurs at moderate complexity, around 5 to 8 subtasks, making hierarchical approaches ideal for sophisticated real-world applications. If you are ready to implement these patterns in your own systems, here is a practical roadmap to get started. Begin with foundation work, implement a basic manager worker pattern with two to three clearly defined specializations. This establishes this, uh, the hierarchical structure without over overwhelming complexity. Next, add coordination capabilities, implement structured communication protocols, and basic dependency management. This enables more complex workflows while maintaining reliability. Then build resilience and failure detection and recovery mechanisms to handle edge cases gracefully. This is critical for production deployment. Finally, optimize performance, fine-tune context management and token utilization to improve efficiency and reduce costs. For your technology stack, we recommend Langchain or Crew UI for your agent framework, as both support hierarchical patterns. Use GPT for all or CloudSonet for manager agents that require strong reasoning and Quen or Lama for routine worker tasks. Implement a vector store for efficient reference information management, add a custom Python orchestration layer for coordination, and deploy structured logging with semantic validation for monitoring. Start with a focused use of moderate complexity, something beyond the simple chain's capabilities, but not overwhelmingly complex. As you begin implementing hierarchical agents architectures, here are the most important takeaways. First, decompose problem hierarchically, not just sequentially. Break, co break complex tasks into logical components with clear responsibilities and dependencies. Second, create specialized agents with narrow, focused responsibilities rather than generalist agents. This improves performance and reduces context requirements. Third, implement structured communication protocols between agents. Standardize message formats for clarity and consistency. Third, manage context explicitly at each hierarchy level. Share only relevant information using hierarchical summarization. Fifth, design for failure with intelligent recovery mechanisms. Assume things will go wrong and plan accordingly. Sixth, start with a focused use case and expand gradually. Build expertise through incremental implementation. And finally, monitor semantic health, not just technical metrics. Track output quality, reasoning consistency, and coordination effectiveness. These patterns can be adapted incrementally, allowing you to improve capabilities without incomplete system redesign. As an online based systems tackle increasingly complex tasks, moving beyond sequential architecture is not just an option, it's a necessity. The hierarchical patterns we will be explored today provide a framework for building more capable, reliable, and efficient agent systems. By combining manager agents for decomposition and coordination, specialized workers for efficient execution, and structured protocols for reliable communications, we can create systems that handle truly complex tasks at scale. Looking forward, we are exploring an exciting direction in self-improving hierarchies, adaptive specialization, multimodal agent coordination, and hybrid architecture that combine hierarchical approaches with other patterns we've mentioned. The implementation roadmap we've discussed provides a practical path forward for your own projects, starting with the foundation and building toward more sophisticated orchestration. Thank you for your attention. I'm excited to hear your questions about implementing these patterns in your specific environments.